Welcome back to Earth Kitchen Ama. I'm Sawako. This is the last part of the ume processing, drying, sun drying. So sun drying is actually optional. You can uh, do without it, but sun drying gives more vitamin D and more beneficial uh, medicinal properties into the umeboshi. So I would recommend to do it. Right now in California, during the summertime, very hot. And usually in Japan, after you add shiso leaf around July, um, you will be drying after a week or two weeks after you added the shiso. But it has been already a month since I added shiso because I we had a lot of fire in California and then the outside is always smoky for a couple weeks and then it was too hot too so I was waiting for a month so it is okay to leave it there up to a month you can do more than a month but if you want to sun dry it you want to take advantage of the summer sun now if you choose to not to sun dry there's two options you're going to be storing the ume with the ume vinegar together in a glass jar and i would use a plastic lid or stainless steel lid otherwise it will rust uh, rust very quickly now second option you're going to drain it and store the ume vinegar and the ume separately and then they will last for a long time now today i am sun drying it what you need is this is a very traditional japanese bamboo sun dry basket for umeboshi a big holes so it doesn't stick while you're drying it so um the uh, tricky part is not to get it stick to the basket and you need the ball and the colander and clean make sure they're clean and if you want to extra clean you can wash everything with the alcohol vodka or hot water but at this point, the ume is fermented pretty well, so you don't have to worry about any about uh, anything about the mold or getting bad. So let's drain it. First, let's look at inside. I just took out my cloth, and nice, beautiful red color, no mold, still soaked, submerged completely. The ume was submerged under water. First, I'm going to take out this omoshi the rocks. And otoshi buta. And Careful when it's heavy container. Okay. Drain it for a minute or so and then all the make sure all the vinegar completely gone. While you wait, the ume is draining. You're gonna be adding the ume vinegar into a jar glass jar or ceramic jar you will need stainless steel it said stainless steel most of the mason jar lid are lids are not stainless steel you have to get specifically stainless steel those are 
sold separately. But this part, I can't find the stainless steel, so I sometimes add cheesecloth and then cover. Or if you have a plastic lid, that's better. No plastic in container, but the plastic on the lid. Lids are plastic better. And then always label. I use this um, art tape, white tape. It's easy to use and it, it comes off right away when you don't want to remove it. So I will use this and ume vinegar. Ume tsu. And the ear you made. Now this vinegar, you can use it right away, but if you age it for a couple months, it will taste much better. It's like umeboshi. Here is the beautiful colored ume. Chiso. So umeboshi, boshi means drying. So we're gonna dry. Now I'm outside in the sun because the California sunlight is too harsh for ume drying. I am putting the basket in the place that morning sun comes shine and then afternoon is shady. This is a very nice meditative work to do. Now I am putting one at a time slowly and then don't let them touch. They need a social distance, certain social distance. They don't need six feet, but just a um, quarter inch. <laughs> I have to throw that in there. This is 2020 crazy year. And you can put it in the sun. The shiso leaf, I put it on the side and dry them. You don't have to. Some people like it soft. So you can just keep it uh, in the pantry. Um, and then use it as a garnish for the rice. Or you can dry them. And then coarse, make it to a coarse powder. And make a furi kake. That's another um, garnish for rice. But it's a sprinkler. Furi kake means sprinkler. So you put on the rice when it's dried and powdered. So that's another option. So I'm going to the second basket. And if they are sticking each other, it will stick later. And then it will wrap. If you have a, already a ripped ume, put that ripped side up so it doesn't stick to the basket. And shiso and ume. And keep going. Day two is in the morning sun. And you will flip over another meditation time one by one now if it's stick don't try to force wherever the juice too much juice were it's gonna stick I flipped this over yesterday in the day one 30 minutes after I sun dried it so it was still easy to flip and the water was here now this side I didn't flip so it's sticking especially the soft one sticks so once you dried it in a day one after 30 minutes in the sun 
I would flip it and then wait until the second day and then flip again and you're gonna be drying them up to three days I usually do two days in the morning sun that should be enough for this and it depends on the softness you want right now it's still pretty soft I like those softness so one more half day in the sun and sisal leaf also you can dry it halfway this is pretty good right now I can take take them in the glass jar now in Japan because it's so moisture too much moisture and then they get the morning dew they will take umeboshi into indoor during the night time in California it's so dry I don't have to worry about getting moisture back into the umeboshi so I will oh, I ripped it don't force it if it doesn't come up right away you can just wait until tomorrow for half day So if you live in the moisture place during the night, you want you might want to take them in the more um, and then at night and then take them out again in the early morning. So after a half day of drying, I took the shiso leaves in because this will get too dry, and then later on. She saw and the Ume is gonna go into the same jar. Now all the process is done. So it was almost two months process if it all went well. And then now I have these Ume perfectly dry, not too dry, not too soft. And if it's dry enough, it should come off easily. Now, time to store it in the plastic, no, the, the glass jars or ceramic jars. Stainless steel. Then you have a clean container. You can wipe it with the alcohol high alcohol like vodka or shochu, Japanese shochu or uh, isopropyl alcohol and then make it uh, make make sure it's completely dry and then you're gonna store it so gently place the first one layer on the bottom And don't forget to label. Ume. Wash. Crazy Ear 2020. Now. I will put um, August and I will start eating in a six month but I still have previous years ume boshi to consume so this can be sleeping at least uh, one or two years Three years would be the best. My friend have a ume farm in Chikko, uh, Chikko area in California, Northern California, and she ages it at least three years. It's an amazing ume umeboshi. So if you want to purchase the umeboshi instead of making your own, 
you can purchase it if you are in the United States she will send it to you and I will put the information in the description so after a year or so the umeboshi is salt comes out and then crystallize it and it will gonna look like this this is probably three four years ago so all this salt came out so you should know these are fine and this is not red so much because I didn't have the red shiso back then when I made this so these are fine thank you so much for watching the long video the umeboshi workshop complete guide I hope your ume making process was wonderful and your ume is ready in a month or so but I usually likes to wait six months at least the taste the magic of fermentation changes the taste of this salty salty sour taste and use the vinegar like a for the dressing or just like a vinegar but remember it's salty and then I appreciate it if you can subscribe my channel to my channel and click the notification and I will see you at the next video thank you see you